But when you think of the word relevance, pretty much it's what's important to you. Now, we know money is important to us. We know politics is important to us. We know security is important to us. But we're talking about relevance in the classroom. And mainly we're talking about how relevant is your content to your kids. Um, it's important because if it's not relevant to them, they're not going to care about it enough in order for them to get an A and B on the class. They're going to be below average or mediocre because they're halfway doing it, not fully investing into it. Um, and when you're participating in something that's relevant to you, you're participating in a learning process. You're participating in a, a process where you're starting here and no matter how hard or no matter how easy it is, you're going to go through that process because you know that in the future this is going to benefit you. Um, and I think this is very important because we allow kids to be in environments where they're finding their purpose or they're exploring in their purpose. Um, school will become more engaging. School will be the place where they can find themselves. It can be a safe haven. Um, and it's really is just a place for them to culturally express themselves. Uh, you know, relevancy is uh, uh, where you're vulnerable. You know, relevancy is where you're able to express yourself in positive or negative ways and not be judged. And you learn from that experience to make a better you. So the first step to making classroom relevant is asking your kids what do they care about. Um, if you don't, if you don't know what they care about, and you're just going off the cuff, you're just going to be shooting blanks and not hitting the target and wasting a lot of time. So really, just ask them why should you? Why, what do you like about Spanish? Uh, when's the first time you uh, experienced Spanish? Why do you like physics? When's the first time you have you ever uh, thought about physics? You know, you have to ask them what uh, things in life right now that are uh, connected to your content area that that they find relevance in. So you have to ask them when that's what the co of dialogue is for. Being uh, African American and being of African descent you know, and studying like African antiquity, uh, African people generally are communal. Like We do everything together. We take care of each other. We learn together. We die together. We do everything together. And that's really just been in our culture. And even from like the African diaspora, even into like America, we still hold on to those same traditions. Um, and I see it in every, in every like uh, uh, black Black related topic is always more than one. So if that is in the culture, if that is in uh, pop culture, why not bring that to the classroom? Have kids help each other. Like they're helping their sisters, brothers and sisters to make food, to get up every day, every morning. They gotta help their peer who's failing in math, you know? Um, I really think it's a, it's a, a cultural identity thing that uh, really connected me to it. Um, and I found that the more I was, uh, more, the more I had an I am we mentality versus just the I mentality, I noticed that I was working smarter and not harder. And the holder of all knowledge, just so kids can just bow down to me and ask for knowledge. No, it's really supposed to be, a, you know, how can I teach you physics? You tell me the answer. How can I teach you Spanish? You tell me the answer. I, you don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. But we gotta figure it out, right? Um, and so that's really what it is. It's a, it's a discovery thing when you're uh, being relevant because it's. It's, it can be very uh, esoteric, it can be very abstract um, at moments because it's not traditional, it's not conventional. Um, but the whole purpose is that everybody is co-generating together, everybody is helping each other.